Hello and welcome to Data Hacker. Welcome to. Welcome back to Data Hacker Reboot. Where hopefully we can get where we need to go. Wherever the heck that is. This place looks sort of. For a second I thought I was walking on the lava there. I'm assuming that stuff's lava. Looks lava y. Lava ish. Lava esque. <laughs> Let's do this! I like, I'm going to end up hideously overleveled if I just keep running from all the fights, but... Never understood the obsession some games have with making you grind enemies. <laughs> Let's do this! Take this, you cretin! Go on, I'll frilly mate. That mask the uh that he's wearing is kind of creepy. Take for that, you cretin! To do zero damage. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, let's see if we can get a diagnostic on it. Take this, you cretin! Because it's not doing a massive amount of damage to me. The hack backfired. Hmm. And it seems to have knocked him out. Woman, wonderful. Take this, you cretin! <laughs> I am going to have to take this thing out, I think. Here with a blast of aqua. Oh, no. oh, were banned, <laughs> weren't they? Take this, you cretin! Were aqua the ones who sung Barbie yeah. Girl? I think they were. You attack, you check a health potion at him, and you do the same. Uh, yeah. That's better. Uh, that's better. Uh, you'll pay for that! Oh, for the love of Pete. Fight this thing is gonna be tedious, uh, isn't it? You'll pay for that! <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna run and see if I can dodge it, because... <laughs> that was close. Yeah, we're, we're barely whittling away its health there. Okay, come on, ugly. Just give me... One good... Thank you. It won't open. Oh, come on, seriously? Oh, bloody wonderful. We can do this! Uh, from what I hear, it might be a case <laughs> of you have this. to actually uh, take go. out all of the shadows in this area. Those fights are just going to be annoying. Good all lord! Right. Like, what, three of those random encounters in the space of about five steps? Yes, I've got to be honest, there's a lot of niggling little problems I have with this game. You know, firstly, it's kind of terrible at explaining what the hell you actually need to do. I know that one of the things you can get with this game is a game guide. This is feeling like one of those games where if you really want to have a hope in hell of actually finishing it, you need to be pretty much just sitting there with a game guide, constantly uh, alt-tabbing to it and checking it. Maybe that's why the game doesn't go full screen, it's so that you can always have the game guide open on one side. No, nope. that's not very helpful. <laughs> Let's do 
Let's do this. At least one of these fights, hadn't I? <laughs> and of course, they're taking no damage because nothing seems to take any damage. <sighs> You'll pay for that. I'm assuming that's just because you know, they're hideously over leveled compared to us. We're just going to run, and now I'm just going to have to take the bloody totem pole back to uh, Victoria, or Victorian, whatever it is. We can do this! Because I'm definitely under-leveled for this area, I think. Which means I'm probably going to have to spend quite a while, probably off-camera, just grinding out levels and I really hate it when games make me do that because frankly it's not fun you know having to do the same fights over and over again in order to be a high enough level to actually accomplish anything is just <laughs> let's do this and I know it's my own fault for constantly running away from all these fights but that's because you know the fights are the combat system isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but there's only so many times you can fight the same bloody fight without wanting to kill someone. And I'm not talking about in the game. Maybe if I got some better weapons or something. Yes, 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 yes. And I see your words. But all he has is augment cores, not actual weapons. Combat with mecha foes. Reduces the chance of a random battle encounter. That I could actually go for. Incomplete data core. No idea what those are even useful for. Or are they crafting materials back in? Clankor reduces the chance of a random battle encounter. We really want that. Because, frankly, those random battles are annoying. But the problem is, if I'm looking to grind out levels, then that would be, you know, kind of. Ooh. I can sell. Uh, nobody's wearing that. Fifty bucks for that. Okay. Strange device left behind after a conflict with the Shadow Sect. Whoever they are. these sell for? Okay, 30, 30 credits pop. Okay, so that guy doesn't even have any weapons to sell. Okay. So he, he, that's a he. It's, a very, it's just a very effeminate looking he. Okay. I guess I want all of them in the formation. I'm curious if I go to documents, I'll go for brief history. In the beginning, there were two kinds of world, tangible and virtual. And within each kind of world, there were innumerable versions, timelines and parallels. And then one day, everything changed. Not much is known about the true reason for the event that birthed the paradoxical power vortex and what is known has been pieced together by the sketchy memories of those that have survived. 
But one thing is certain, the worlds have all but disappeared. True, there are no world fractures, small fragments of once magnificent worlds, each belonging to their own pocket universe. And reality is meshed into some kind of unstable hybrid of the two types of world, leaving many of the laws of physics, chemistry and biology with rules that can be bent, broken and swayed. Those with a natural talent for overcoming these rules are called the data hack. And it is what we are now, some kind of organic data, which brings us on t which brings us to the other people who walk among us. For they are neither alive nor are they dead. They cannot procreate, and more and more people literally drop in on a regular basis. But are we still the same people we were before the vortex swallowed us? Well that's an interesting question. Um yeah, this game is really terrible at actually telling you what you need to do. As I, I suspect I'm going to have to just go and grind out some levels for a while, which, as I've said, I kind of hate doing. I'm just hideously underleveled for anything that I could currently do. And he wants me to document my findings, which, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what, the fourth, fifth time I've done that? I am an idiot. Alright people, I'm just going to go to the forest and grind, so I am not going to make you watch that. So I will you know, stop this recording for a moment, and well it'll come back immediately for you, and hopefully by then I'll have just you know, ground a few levels, and uh, then I'll head back to that cave and see if I can start actually beating those things. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a few moments from your point of view. Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Data Hacker Reboot. Right, as you can see, I've done a bit of levelling. We've now levelled up to level 7 on everybody, so hopefully that'll be enough to actually get somewhere. Let's teleport to this world. Try and sort of wipe out those shadows, and that will hopefully let us through. Sorry if you can hear clattering outside, it sounds like our neighbours are mowing their lawn or something like that. Okay, <laughs> Let's do so. this! Gage. Drains half of their magic to boost their tactical pool. They have a powered strike which puts all the effort into a single blow, potentially stunning the enemy. Three round of targets. Nope. I think we will just start by getting rid of the slugs. So I tend to find that a wise move. Ah, you'll pay for that. The amount of screwing around they can do with you. Right, you attack that. You attack that, and you attack that. Okay. Still taking no bloody damage. God, how much bloody leveling up would I have to do in order to actually completely uh, be able to take these guys with relative ease? Do we think insane amounts? Take this, you cretin! All right. Ah, that one hurts. <laughs> Still don't get why Pickpocket is doing more damage than uh, Battle Cry. 50 mana and 10 tactical points to use against Pump for Battle, increasing damage while lowering their defense. Okay. 
you'll pay for that! <laughs> I'd get a decent amount of XP for taking this thing down. Take this, you cretin! Decent amount of XP for that, I suppose. If we have to clear out all of them, this is going to be tedious. In case you're wondering, the reason I think I might have to clear out all of them is something I saw on the Steam forums while I was trying to figure out what the hell I had to do. I'm still not sure what the hell I have to do. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Let's engage. Target Alpha. Target Beta. Target. You'll no. pay for that! Yeah. Can never remember. <laughs> She's stuck up, uh, uh, <laughs> That one hurt! So yeah, these fights, I say the problem is they're just kind of annoying. Ah, you'll pay for that. Reversing. Try this on for size. Okay, good. So mercenary rush might just do enough damage to take him down. Unfortunately, it uses up 70 TP, and that's going to take bloody forever to uh, get back. As long as those shadow guys don't respawn, that'd just be annoying. Particularly if we've got to clear this area out. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, you start by summoning up the water, whatever she is, because she will be shockingly useful. Pocket on that carver, and you. I don't want you summoning your guardian. So use him in turmoil. You'll pay for that. Three random targets, so with any luck, it won't be. Okay. <laughs> That, hit that, hit that. And we'll heal good. Take this, you cretin! find it really bizarre that Pickpocket does that much damage compared to uh, an, an actual attack. You know, this isn't Fallout where you can pickpocket a mine into someone's pocket and blow them up. Though admittedly at the time of recording you know the E3 press conferences have just been sort of on and uh, Lots of people have been uh, going on about how absolutely amazing stuff looks. In all honesty, my reaction to E3 is... meh. Yeah. There hasn't been anything announced that's really made <laughs> me go, do this. goody. I mean, for example, I am a massive fan of the Mass Effect games. And they've announced Mass Effect Andromeda and... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't, but... <gasps> that one hurt! You know, let's face it, at the end of the day... <laughs> It's being made by a team of game makers that I trust to do a good job. 
But at the same time, it kind of feels like it's a game that doesn't need to exist. You know, they sold up the... You know, they, uh, you know, they finished the story quite nicely. I mean, I'm not one of those people who hated the ending of Mass Effect 3, so I'm not sure if we actually need another Mass Effect game. But I suppose the advantage of setting it in a different galaxy is that they can, you know, do new stuff with it, which is fair enough. As long as they do something new and interesting, I'm kind of down with it. You Cretan! God, I'm really starting to hate having her in the party. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. And what else? Fallout 4. Take this, you Cretan! Um, I don't really care. I was saying, you know, I own a copy of Fallout 3 and I think it's okay. It's got the same problem. To my mind, it's got the exact same problem that every Bethesda game has. The main story is just not very interesting. You know, and you can tell me, oh, but you can go anywhere and do anything, and yeah, but that bores me. I've never been one of these people who has to see what's over the next hill. I would rather play a game with a really well crafted story. You know, and they've announced that they're doing a uh, remake of uh, Final Fantasy VII, which. <laughs> Let's be honest, they should you know, they could have done that any time in the past decade and it would have netted them an insane amount of money, so well, that holds no interest for me because I would not be able to get through it without spending the whole game laughing at Cloud and Buster Sword. Because let's face it, it is one of the most ridiculous Take weapons this, Final Cretan. Fantasy has ever come up with. And this is the series that You'll invented the that. gun blade and the wrist mounted dog <laughs> launcher. You can tell how interesting this combat has become by you know, how much I'm focusing on talking about it rather than uh, you know, going on about it 3. What else was announced to be through? XCOM 2 looks promising. You'll pay for that, you Cretan! Yeah, because I covered the Bureau on this channel, which was really good. But Enemy Within was actually a really good game. Sorry, Enemy Unknown was a really good game, and Enemy Within was a really good expansion to it. That one hurt. So, you know, with any luck, XCOM 2 will be uh, really quite good, because it looks promising. So even if, narratively speaking, it follows on from you losing the first game. You'll pay for that, you Cretan! Oh, good lord. This thing just won't bloody die. Uh, chuck her a couple of health tonics. Uh, much better. Uh, much better. Take this, you Cretan! It's gonna do. Well, hey, did some damage. 156 XP. Yeah, I mean, I can poodle around and wipe out all these guys if that's what I really have to do, but it's kind of tedious. I don't know, maybe this is where I need to be. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do all that level grinding. Well, actually, I probably did. Otherwise, getting here would have been even more tedious. Okay, so who are you guys? Alpha isn't responding. What do we do? We can't leave our post, you know that. It's probably just noise from the beast cancelling out a signal. I hope you're right. I have a bad feeling about this. Ahem! <laughs> An intruder! Alpha not responding. Intruders, it all adds up. Look, all we're trying to do here is harness the power of the beast. The beast? Shut up, you idiot. You heard our orders. We're to take out any risk of sabotage. But the other one, he's just a kid. The youngest I've seen since the event, in fact. It's not our job to question authority. We all have to do what we have to do, no matter how unclean the job may be. Change the record already. New universe, new rules, right? We're just gathering information. Please can you let us pass? 
I'm sorry, but orders are orders. And this is your last chance to turn back. Near. Yeah. We don't have a choice to ask. Oh, damn you two for being so thick headed. <laughs> Let's do this! Okay, we're going into this fight not as prepared as I might like. Which is why you are going to take a magic potion. And then you are going to pickpocket the guy on the left. And you are going to throw a summon right. guardian at them. Uh, that's I like hitting this with defense lowering things, don't I? Okay, managed to dodge one, but not the other. It's not quite enough mana, unfortunately. And not enough TP for a mercenary rush. Hit them with an aqua ball. Throw him a health potion, not a health potion, a mana potion. And you don't have enough for a guardian, so you're just going to have to attack that guy. Actually, she's got enough to use one of her uh, special abilities, isn't she? Well, I did basically nothing. Right. Summon her. Him use in a terminal. <laughs> okay, that did almost nothing. Wow. Yeah, I think even after all that grinding, we're still chronically under leveled. You'll pay for that. Okay, hit him with a powered attack. He's pickpocket on him and just that. <laughs> okay, one of them is down. Yeah. Good, and you can do Take some damage. This, you All right, everybody, just pile on. Nothing fancy, just attack him today. Take this, you cretin! Yeah. Take this, you cretin! Ah, you'll pay for that. Take this, you cretin. Okay, took those guys down. Tell me, we've got a lot of XP for that. Moderate amount, I suppose. Enough to level him up. Don't linger on it, kid. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great advice. You've just killed a guy. Try not to think about it too much. Three intelligence chips. Okay, doesn't look to be much over there. And of course there's two bloody gates out of here. Right, that to me seems like a reasonable enough point to end this video. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.